Hello friends, it's Honey and how's your 2020 going so far? Do you have a positive vibe that year? Because my year is going in slow motion. Everything that I said is running out of the target, but I can still reach my goal that year. But that's not in the area that I hoped before, but I'm not setting too many goals that year because sometimes I feel lazy too. I spend my time that year as a casual day, stepping every day like live in the flow but sometimes i was thinking that i am always grateful that i can breathe when i woke up in the morning i've done so many tasks that makes me feel tired every day sometimes live in that situation is not that bad but it can't make you feel more evil you know after i look back my own goals in the last year i asked for myself so what have you done this year do you achieve something what do you best buy this year and so on then i realized i'm not thinking about that for so long i don't even know what kind of achievement that i really wanted or what things i have to buy that year after i figured it out about what things in my mind then i decided to change it become more organized and i have to know what i really wanted for myself I already have a plan to set set up my goals in Notion before, but it's so basic, so I just take a little bit action to change it more planner and more organized. Why I use Notion to set up my goals? Yeah, because I fall in love with Notion. I really like the system of this workspace. This can change my life since I use Notion for 2020. Now, I want to introduce you to my goal planner page. This is my goal planner for the last this year and for next year. I want to take a quick tour to introduce my goal page before I explain how I create this page. But this is a simple goal planner that I can create so far. At the top of this page, there are three columns to separate these three sections. At the left, I put some quotes to relate for these goal things. Text is another view from the goal database, and my goal is my database from this goal page. At the center, I make some page to divide them based on quarterly from Q1 to Q4. And at the right side, I create three other pages to make quick access space, mostly that I use to set my goal based on text. Down here is my goal this year. Every goal that I want to achieve this year is all in here. By the way, I'm not setting too many goals for this year actually. And down here, it is achievement. It is all about the goal that finally I can do and every goal that I already achieved. You already joined my quick tour to look my goal planner. Now I want to show you how I create so many pages and views by only one database. My goal is the database from this page. All about the information in this page is from here. And what's inside? Let's we'll see. For example, I open this goal. This is but I want to complete my workout at least minimum 85%. What properties are included in this page? First, status. This property to tell you how far the goal status is now. It start with not started, next is in progress, and finally, when you achieve your goal, you will set in done as the complete this goal. Tags. It is like a categories. I divided them up to five tags about workspace, skill, health, study, and personal. Key target is divided them based on quarterly, start from Q1, from January to March, Q2 from April to June, Q3 June to September, and Q4 October up to December. Another properties is here, detail and files and media. 
Monthly review is a property that I have a relation from my other pages. It's called monthly review. Don't forget about the template. This is the template about this page. I create this to explain how my goal is look like. Example, what's your goal sounds like? How can you achieve your goal? And the last is how was your feeling? I think that's enough about the properties and detail from here. Next, I want to show you how to create another page from this one database. How I create another page but all information is from one database. The answer is you have to use linked view of database. It allows you to create many pages with different view from the database. I'll show you the example. I want to make another quick access example healthy goal and then turn into page and don't forget to add the icon because it's cute. After that, I always start with shortcut by type slice for a notion functional slash and then link linked view of database. Now we have another page same as database but with different view. Just filter by tags and just help. This way is the same as another pages that I created before, just change the filter based on what you want. As you know, I want to reset and start writing down and listing my goal for next year. So I'll know what I want to achieve and how to do that. And finally, I have material to review in yearly recap. And the last is, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you got inspired from my content or maybe you can share what goals you hope for next year. Comment below. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time.